Hey. Hi. You know what today is? I wonder what today is. Does anybody know what today is? That's our song. And what do we sing on Friday? One, two. It's Friday. It's Friday. We drop together on Friday. Stand up. On Friday we do this Friday dance. We move our bodies. We shake and dance. We do it. Yeah. Uh, Friday dance. Yeah. Stand up. Do the wave. Stand up and like this. Be a pencil. Pencil dance. Pencil dance. Friday, Friday. Pencil dance. Pencil dance. Pencil dance. On Friday. We are silly pants. <laughs> Friday dance and dun dun. Let's sing. It's Friday. It's Friday. We drop together on Friday. <gasps> Everything is better when we drop together. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Ooh. Settle down, settle down, settle down. It's Friday. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to the Friday Dance on Draw Together. Yeah. It's so fun. It's Friday. It's the day where not only do we draw together, we dance together, we get a little winded together, Woo! get a little exercise in our drawing class. You got a little something special to put on for drawing class, you don't put that on, because we're professionals here. We're very, very serious about our drawing. All right, who's ready to draw? Yes, I'm Wendy Mack, I'm here with Artists and Caroline. Say hi, Artists and Caroline. She's shy even on Friday. Who else we got here? Maybe a little Suso. Hi, Suso. Hi, Suso. <laughs> Her Friday dance is on the inside. <sighs> We're here in San Francisco. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, all over the world. I see Lausanne, Switzerland, Bratislava, Slova Slovakia, wow, Bogota, Colombia, Lake Oswego in New York, USA, wow. We are all over the world, all in our home studios, but we're here now to draw together. I'm so happy to see you. Okay, so what do we need for class? We got our home studio set up. We got our, what do you got? Yep, paper, pencil pen, yes. Um, you have some color, maybe some crayons, some markers or some paints. If you don't have any color, that's fine too. No big deal, you can either imagine it or you can just go, you know, simple one color. It's very sophisticated, very 1970s, all the rage honestly these days. So let's see, we have a very, very special day plan today. We have a guest who may or may not be, I'm not gonna tell you, she's amazing, coming up soon. But first, we're gonna do a little settle down drawing. Can we do a little warm up? Come on over here. I'm gonna turn my page this way. Let's start to warm up. We did some drawing that got our, that got our blood going, but we wanna kinda shake out our hands first. Can we just do a quick little shake, 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 shake. Shake out the fingers, 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 fingers. Go zappy, zap, zap, zappy, zap, 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 zap. Good job. Okay, that makes sure that we have the powerful hands. All right, let's do a little settle down because I'm feeling a lot of energy. So we're just gonna put our pencils right here in the middle, pen whatever you want, and we're gonna do our heart spiral that we do once a week. So let's just start making a heart. But then when we get back to the inside, we don't close it, we go around again. And we go around again. 
and around again. This is our heart spiral. It helps us settle down when we got a lot of energy going. It's good to have a lot of energy going, but it's also a really nice thing to be able to do, to just sit and make a heart spiral and kind of take that energy and settle it down and put it into a, a drawing on the page. So we want the line to go around and kind of as close as you can go to the other line inside without touching. Yep, just like that. Let's take a deep breath here. Let's go deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's do a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Ooh, this is starting to look like a, like a round spiral, like a Linda Berry spiral. All spirals are honestly Linda Berry spirals. But this is our special heart spiral we do in class. Let's make it a little heartier. Let's do one or two more just around. Notice, do you feel any, any different on the inside than when we started drawing the heart spiral? I feel, I feel calmer. A little more focused. How about you? One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's take it around and make the heart at the bottom. Seal up the heart. Nice one. Let's see yours. How's that heart spiral? Good. Not so good. Feels good, huh? It's good to get all that energy and we go and we do our Friday dance and then we can sit down at our drawing table, take a deep breath and focus. Just want to do a quick weather check-in before we do our big exciting day. Our weather check. All of these are different weather systems. Sunny, rainy, cloudy, foggy, stormy, windy. There's weather outside but there's also weather inside. What's your weather inside today? I'm sunny. Got some wind from our dance. But that heart spiral gave me that little bit of calming fog. How about you? Yeah. Well, weather changes all the time. So we can check back in later and see how our weather is after our special guest drawing day. How about that? Okay. I'll put this off to the side. Well, we have a very fun day today. We have a special guest who we are going to bring on over in the yellow school bus. That's not true. We're actually going to go visit her in her home studio. And she has a very different kind of home studio. I wonder, should I announce who it is before? Or should I surprise you with a special surprise? What? It's food week. Oh, yeah. Well, that's one thing I'll say. <laughs> and then we'll do a surprise. It's food week. It's basically the most fabulous Friday of Food Week fever. I can't. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. I cannot wait, drum roll, to get in the yellow school bus and travel and visit the most fabulous food friend fever. Oh, we're not there yet. Cut to do so. her special powers. What does that say? Does that say FB? 
Yeah, that stands for fava bean. Fava bean. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and fava bean, I love your cape so much. Who are you there with, fava bean? Awesome friend, Savi Nosrat! Yay! Yay! Come back to sleep! I get the Friday! It's Friday! It's Friday! We drop together! Savi! Um, <laughs> We've been so excited to have you on Draw oh, Together for too. so long. And Food Week, I mean, come on. Basically, Food Week. It's Sammy Knows Rat Week. Let's be honest. I heard we did so many fun things this week. Oh my gosh. We did. We did so much fun drawing, and we're so excited to be here with you and to draw with you and to learn some of the stuff about what, what you love and what you're excited to talk about about food. But maybe first, can we just ask you a couple questions like, where are you? Oh, I'm in <laughs> Oakland, California in the United States. It's actually just across the water from you, Wendy. Oh, we're neighbors. That's yeah, we're so neighbors. fun. Uh, it's it's nice that we can be here and hang out together and with all the Draw Together kids. Even though we're in our own spaces, we can be here together right now. All together. That's so fun. And let's see, um, can you tell us, did you always want to be a cook, chef, writer, and teacher? No, I never knew what I wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved making messes. I have always loved to eat delicious food. Mm. And I also really like using my hands and my imagination. Yes. And so all of those things kind of have added up into my work that I do now, which is cooking and writing and making stories and sharing. So fun. Well, everybody loves everything you cook and everything you write and everything you share. So we're so excited to cook and dream and imagine and learn everything um, with you today. So thanks it's for having us into fun, your guys. kitchen. Look at that cool kitchen you have behind you. Oh, oh yeah, here's the kitchen. Oh, this is like your home studio. Like we have our drawing home studio and you have it's your true. cooking home studio. This is my home studio and it's all my tools and everything I use to do my art. Oh, wow. I okay, see. Let's see, we see pots and pans. Yeah, whoops, there's a, whoops, sorry. <laughs> there's my compost. Compost, <laughs> that's where I yes. Put all and then that's the sink where I wash all the dishes. Cool. This is where I cut everything. Mm -hmm. That's the stove. Mm -hmm. And then we got a little toaster oven, mm -hmm. my refrigerator. Oh, here's all my ingredients. Oh my gosh, look like at all those spices oh. and my oils. Oh, those spices and, and oils look like they're from all over the world. They are. And that's what makes cooking so fun and delicious. It's like an adventure because you get to travel every time you cook. Oh, and then I have a refrigerator, but it's very messy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you have a lot of fun in your kitchen and like you really love what you do. I do. I feel really lucky. It's, you know, it's a lot of hard work to make a life that um, is full of joy yeah. and full of fun. But I think if you just choose to be joyful, that's a big part of it. You know, you just yeah. have to like find beauty wherever you go. And it's so nice because there's beauty in all of nature. And mm -hmm. so much of cooking is using nature in the kitchen. Oh, that is so wonderful. Oh, it's so great. Thank you so much for sharing with us how oh. your work and that you love your work. And it's clear also that you practice a lot for a long time. <laughs> it's a lot of practice. Um, so maybe today, is there something that you wanted to show us? Um, there is. Yeah? I, I thought it would be really fun to talk about all the different kinds of toast that <gasps> kids all over the world eat for breakfast. Toast! Toast! Raise your hand if you ate toast. Who's eating toast this week in food week? Let's, I I mean, I ate like a lot of toast. I ate toast for breakfast. Yeah, toast for breakfast. <laughs> toast for breakfast. Well, let's see. If you're going to make toast, then how about we um, in class can draw the toast? 
How does that sound? That sounds so fun. Okay, so here, let me just go over here while you're getting that ready. Okay. I just want to come over here and say that, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to take, so we can all get ready at home to draw along with you cooking. Uh, I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to turn it this way. Does anyone remember what this is? This is landscape, horizontal landscape. And then I'm going to either take a pencil or a pen. Mm -hmm. And we'll just start with that. And then we'll Can come to colors up, later. You want to move over here? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me just go over here. And how does that look? Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Like this. Yep. Okay. All right. We're ready. All right. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. I put some toast in the toaster oven. Let's see if it's ready. <gasps> oh, oh what delicious okay. toast here i'll bring it over here okay so you guys everyone can see okay that's just what my toast looks like today can we leave the toast there for a second so maybe we can all draw your toast at home i think that's a great idea okay so let's see we're looking at samin's toast you know what this we could do one big piece of toast but let's do a few pieces of toast because maybe we'll some do some different things. Is that a good idea, Samin? That's a great idea. I actually made four pieces of toast. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> yes, I, let me get them out. Okay, cool. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful the way coincidences sometimes just magically happen like that? <laughs> so if we draw four pieces, um, and let's see how Samin arranges them, and then we can pretend that our paper is her cutting board. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, oh, that's fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start, let's see, with the one over here, and I'm gonna draw, oh, look at those. Sh they have kind of different shapes. They, are, they have, their bottom is flat, and then, let's see, it goes up on the sides. There's, I mean, what shape is that? That's a, it's kind of like a square, a rectangle. Yeah, yeah, they're rectangles. So we have four. Uh, kind of natural or organic would be a word uh, shaped rectangles. Remember, pretty much everything we draw is boils down to some pretty basic shapes. And then when we just put some kind of extra curves and textures and stuff on those shapes, we have everything in the world. I wonder if that's like cooking, Samin. The way that it is. yeah, there there's just a few simple things, and once you learn them. You can use it for anything, and you can make anything taste delicious. That's neat. There's some similarities between drawing and cooking, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we have uh, we have some good toasts to go along with you. Everybody have your toast at home? Ready to go? All right. Ready to go? Ready to go. Awesome. Well, I thought we could start with one of our favorites. Let's see, let me turn it on back to me. I thought we could start with one of our favorites. Probably, I would, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people out there have had this one. What? Peanut butter <gasps> and, oops, jelly. Yes. <laughs> so should Mimi we make I one? Here, let me see if I can put this here so you can see me. I'm gonna right, raise it up a little. Okay, well, I'm gonna go paint. I'm gonna go paint over here. So let's see if you want to come over here, so you can see, and then just. Oh. And then, while you are. Actually. While you are painting your toast with delicious peanut butter and jelly, we are going Maybe to. Maybe you guys could do some too. I think that sounds like a great idea. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> I'll just have oh, the toast. <laughs> huh? I'll just hold it. That's easier, I think. <laughs> I'll just do it one-handed. The one hand. It's that is how we know that you're an expert. I'm a true chef. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Oh, look at all those so, nooks and crannies here's in the some bread. peanut butter. Yum. I'm just going to spread it on. Yum. So I'm going to just... Spread some peanut butter on there. Spread. I heard that you guys were hanging out with my friend Mai yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. And Mai taught us all about how she grows wheat. 
and wheat turns into flour, and flour and turns into bread, bread, and bread turns into toast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hold on. I got to catch up with you. And you know what? All of us, I love this because when we're painting, we can put as much peanut butter on it as we want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More peanut butter, please. All the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. That's fun. Maybe I'll put a little more over there. Okay. Yum. Peanut butter. And then some people like creamy peanut butter. Yeah. Other people like chunky peanut butter. Yum. And then I like creamy. But should we put a little bit of, I have some strawberry jam here. Should I put some of that on top? Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, so this is kind of making me a little hungry. So I'm putting some jam on. If um, if everybody in class, if you're if you're in the mood for jam, jam away, jam on. Let's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if you don't want jam, that's cool too. It's neat that while Samina's is doing this with her knife, and she's cooking with her tools, we are drawing the same thing with our tools. That's pretty it's so fun. cool. Same strokes, same way. The way that Samin is moving her hands, we're moving our hands too. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, that looks so good. So I do it like this. How do you guys do it? Show me when you show Here. me. We're kind of going like, we're kind of going a uh, little kind of um, diagonal side to side. Ooh. Yeah, it's really similar. Really Ooh. similar. That's really I neat. I want to see what you guys at home are doing. Oh, well, we can't wait to show you. I hope that when uh, when we finish, everybody can post up their pictures and share it with Chow Samin. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, can so. another one? Yes, please. So this is like what I grew up eating when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. So I sometimes for lunch, I would, my mom would put a peanut butter sandwich in my lunch. Mm -hmm. But usually for breakfast, because my family's from a country called Iran. Mm -hmm. So for breakfast, what we often had was toast with cheese and this is a kind of cheese called feta cheese mm. it's a white cheese yeah so we, i when i was little i would just put that smear that right on it kind of looks like cream cheese doesn't it yeah it does does it taste like cream cheese uh it's definitely saltier mm -hmm. and it's like it's like tangier tangy yeah it's like makes you go like this <laughs> <laughs> that sounds delicious <laughs> It's really good because you know then when because it was so tangy then I would put a lot of sugar in my tea uh -huh. and balance it out. So, so I'm taking this now. So we're putting feta and because white on white on white on paper is hard to do. I'm kind of using a little bit of a creamy color that is going to kind of stand in for it there. So I'm just kind of pretending that's white there. So that's and the then feta I'm gonna cheese. And then give you guys something to put on top. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is one of my favorite snacks, is feta and cucumber. Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. We have some um, viewers in Iran. We have- you do? We do, in Tehran, yes. Wow. I think they're gonna be so excited. Probably something that they eat. We call it nunu paneer. Ooh, nunu I, paneer. Oh, you say it again? That's a fun, it was fun to say. Nunu. Nun, nun. Nuno oh, paneer, which Nun, means oh. bread and cheese. Nuno paneer, yum. Nuno paneer and cucumbers. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, this sounds delicious. So I'm gonna just make these fun shapes, these oval shapes, and put these all over that delicious feta cheese. Oh, I love this. Not only. Are we drawing beautiful food? We are learning and getting incredibly hungry at the same time. Do no penny. Oh, that's fun. I love this. This is fun to draw. It has a lot of different layers and shapes. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, so pretty. It looks, your toast looks like a drawing. Love it. It does. It yeah. kind of feels like, sometimes when I'm cooking, it kind of feels like I'm drawing. Yeah, because your food, you are thinking about the shapes and where they go and how they layer on top mm -hmm. of each other. Yeah. Okay. A true Artist. artist. Should we do another one? Yes, please. Okay. This one is from the Netherlands, which is also a country called 
Holland. <laughs> <laughs> it has two names in English. We have we have viewers. And here. children in the Netherlands for breakfast, uh -huh. they often eat toast with butter. So should I put some let's put some butter on there? Butter. Can we say hey to all of our viewers in the Netherlands in Holland? Hello. Hello. You all are gonna recognize this. Delicious. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. all that good butter. Butter, lots of butter. Lots of butter. So this is, are you covering it totally? Yeah, so we'll pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because the more butter you have, the better the next stuff can stick. Yeah. Well, we're all doing, we're drawing here in our home studios what you're doing in your home studio. But you know, if anybody wants to kind of go off and do your own thing at any time, you just want to color, you want to just go outside the toast lines and make some squirrely cues, that is super fun it. too. Yes. So much of cooking is just being creative. It's just like drawing like that. So fun. So fun. All right, we got our butter. Okay, you got the butter. I got our that butter. That is the surprise ingredient. Surprise. Which all of the kids in the Netherlands are going to know what I'm about to show. But I think everyone what else is, is going to be really oh, surprised. I'm so excited. It's sprinkles! <gasps> no! <laughs> this is what those kids get to eat for breakfast. Oh my gosh. Sprinkles. No way. <laughs> Tap those hearts if you say yay for sprinkles. <laughs> yay. So we can put some sprinkles on our toast. Here, sprinkles I'm gonna sprinkle in the morning. On. I'm going to do some color ones. Can we see those close up, what shape those sprinkles are? These ones are, sir, are little dots. Oops, sorry, there you go. Those ones are all the colors. Oh, lots of little look dots. at those. Oh, it's wonderful. And oh. then these ones are little lines. These chocolate jimmies. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, little there lines. Okay, let's see. While you're doing that, I'm going to see if maybe we can try a little experiment here. So sometimes when we want to make little tiny dots, we can either take our paint and we can go dot, 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 dot. And I'll do that so we can all see how we just do little dot, dot, dots, dot. Oops, well also, the paint's wet underneath, so it's gonna get a little bit bigger. So we go dot, dot, dot. The other thing we can do is we can get paint on our brush and then we can flick it. Flick, 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 flick. That's splattering. And look, when we make that splatter, the flick, splatter, flick, splatter, we get sprinkles. Oh, I mean, is that really breakfast? Because I want to cut straight to that meal. Oh. Yeah. We all just need to move to the Netherlands. <laughs> I think so. I think so. So let's see. I'm going to do some of those. Did you call those um, sprinkles that were long with the lines? What did you call those? The I line? I called them jimmies. Jimmies. Let's call them jimmies. Let's make some chocolate jimmies on there. Oh, wow. This is delish. Let's make You can oak. do whatever color you want. Let's I see. just wanted to make sure everyone saw all the different kinds, so I put them all on here. Oh, that's fun. So we could even make some purple jimmies. Purple jimmies. Purple you jimmies. You can make like rainbow sparkles. Oh, this is so fun. Jimmies. Oh, this is so fun. Rainbow. Oh my gosh, rainbow sparkle jimmies. We can make the whole rainbow of color jimmies. I'm going to do a little more splatter on here because I think that's really a neat texture that we're creating. The texture of the different, we have the bread texture, we have the butter texture, and then we have the sprinkled texture. There's a lot going on. We don't really do the bread so much, but there we go, just a little bit there. Oh, check oh, that uh, out. You know, we have one more left. Hmm. What's, what's going to go there? Be? What is going to go there? Wendy, what's your favorite toast? <gasps> I don't, I mean, I, there's so many to choose from. I love cinnamon. I love, oh, I you love your cinnamon toast. Yeah. Well, why don't we let everybody do their own favorite toast? My favorite, I also love cinnamon toast. So maybe I'll do cinnamon toast. Okay. But I think, don't you think it'd be fun if everyone did their favorite one? At Wild time? card toast. Everybody does their own request toast. Yeah. Yes. And I get to see all the pictures when you post them. I all. love it. Okay. So let's see. Um, okay. Since you're doing cinnamon, I love cinnamon too, but I think I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? I like tomato toast. I like tomato toast. Tomato! I'm gonna do, yeah. I'm gonna do some olive oil. And I'm gonna do tomato toast. And I realize, 
I just want to do a quick little class check-in here. I know that class usually ends right about now, but y'all, this is so fun. We are not going anywhere until the toast is finished. All right, a few more minutes. Okay. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, no. Well, there's no time. There's no time like toast time. We're on the time of the toast because this is the best ever. I'm making those tomatoes. Let's see. Samin's making her cinnamon. What are you going to put on your toast? I'm going to so put butter. Yeah. Like the floor, so everything can stick to it. And then I made a little bowl with cinnamon and sugar. Just a tiny little bowl. Cinnamon and sugar. <laughs> So then I'm going to sprinkle that on. Oh, yum. It's kind I of know. like a dessert. Some people I hear like avocado toast. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. People like cream or cheese. You could put an egg on your toast. Ooh, an egg on toast sounds on me. Or did you, have you ever seen that thing where um, it has a lot of different names, but you can cut a hole in your toast and then crack what? an egg inside? Oh. Some people call it chicken on a raft or egg in a hole. <laughs> Pretty cool. That sounds so fun. That would be fun to draw. All of these things are so fun to draw. I it's can't really believe fun. it's. Drawing is like two buddies. That's why we're friends. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that's true. So many reasons, including oh that. God, yeah. So pretty. <laughs> Look at these toasts. Oh yes, you can actually see. I forgot. That's right. <laughs> so we have all these different shapes. And it's neat that toast, we have this, the kind of like when we start with a blank piece of paper and then we go off in different directions and all different sorts of things can happen every time on a piece of paper, just like on a piece of toast. It's so fun. All these different shapes and colors. That was so fun. Samin, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for having me. Can we this see her really toast awesome. or something? Can we wait see, wait, can we Somebody see? Needs to say hello. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Fava bean. Oh my gosh. Fava is mentally communicating with Suso. They're both like, what are we doing here in class? <laughs> That's so fun. Samin, can we see your cinnamon toast real quick? Oh, it looks so good. Here, let me show you. Here's all my toasts all lined oh. up. There's the cinnamon. You can see it kind of like, it's kind of shimmery on top, the Glistening. cinnamon sugar. Yeah. And then there's the PB, PBJ. Yeah, look at that. There's my like Nuno Panier. Yeah. And there's my Dutch sprinkle toast. Oh my gosh, that looks it's so It's like good. we just went on a journey all around the world. All around the world in our home studio slash kitchen slash toasts. <laughs> Can we do a quick show? I would love to see, and Samin would love to see too, also all of the drawings that we all did. On the count of three, do you want to hold up? Samin, do you want to check out these toasts? I definitely do. All right, check this out. Ready? One. So wait, is, you here, ready? Okay. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Let's see your toast. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Oh, look at all those colors and those shapes, the layers you did, and each one of them, they're so unique and different. So creative, right? I wish I could eat them all. <laughs> Children, don't eat your toast off the page. Warning from the professional. <laughs> that was so fun. Your toasts are awesome. So now that you've drawn toast, if you want to try making new toasts in your in your kitchen for breakfast or any time of the day, honestly, now we can, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Samim. We have a quick little bit of club business. Will you hang out for a second while we just of check out? Course. Okay, so class business here. Um, so we have our toast. If you want to take a picture and share it um, with everybody uh, all over the world, so they can all okay. see your toast. Um, that would be really, really great. So just hashtag draw together, post it, and tag Chow Samin so she can see your toast too. That'll be so fun. Um, and also, now this is a very important little piece of business here. We have now had class for how many weeks? Forever. That's right. No, just kidding. Ten weeks. And next week, what is next week? It's the last day of school. It's the last day of class. Is next Friday. We only have one more week left of draw together classes. 
I know. We have a really special week planned. We're gonna do lots of stuff and maybe even have a graduation or something. It'll be so fun. And a bit of an announcement. We might be ending Draw Together class, but we will welcome you to Draw Together Camp. <laughs> Woo! That will start. <laughs> on Monday, June 1st. <laughs> so there'll be more details next week. We'll let you know. But just so you know, class is going to wrap up next week. And, um, and oh, last thing that's super important too, is that we have all done so much incredible artwork together all over the world. And you all have sent in a lot of wonderful pictures. And I've seen pictures of people hanging their artwork up inside their homes. And we thought we should have a draw together class show. What do you think of that? Yes an international gallery show of Draw Together Kids artwork. Yes! So start thinking about what you wanna show, maybe choose a few pieces or all your pieces, and we'll have more details about how we're gonna have this incredible exhibition. And if you wanna be included, it's a great thing to put on your curriculum vitae, which we'll also talk about next week, okay? And finally, we do this at the end of every class. Would you join us, Samin? Oh! <laughs> Yay! All right, ready? Pencils up or spoons? Pencils up. I'm gonna go over here. We can do it together, Smee. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Everything is better when we draw together. <laughs> <laughs>